The mass adoption of augmented and virtual reality will fundamentally change how humans live, work, learn and interact with each other. This young industry needs different types of thought leaders to keep it moving forward in a positive and productive direction. With an innovative business model and an unrivaled VR and AR ecosystem, the Glimpse Group is a major influencer in this strong, exciting, emerging market. The Glimpse Group is a New York City-based virtual and augmented reality company comprised of 10 unique AR and VR subsidiaries. As leaders in the field, Glimpse subsidiaries create first-of-its-kind solutions for major brands and organizations in marketing, architecture, manufacturing, healthcare, education, and financial services. Our unique business model and our focus on emerging technologies enables our subsidiaries to push the boundaries of what's possible. The Glimpse Group is evolving the way business is conducted in this sector. If it's never been done before, the Glimpse Group can make it happen. All right, okay. So, um, so that was a, 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 an image, a picture of um, exactly what this AR and VR thing is all about and exactly what, um, you know, what, so I, I was hearing that people were having audio problems. Max, can you t uh, say something, see if we, we can hear you? <laughs> yeah, the, the audio is back up. <laughs> okay, good, good, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you, Bobby, who was on our show yesterday for uh, letting us know what was going on. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So, um, so Max, um, yeah, tell, tell me a little bit of what you, you're thinking. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking a whole bunch of stuff, of course. And But after seeing that video, I do have a question for you, DJ. Sure. Um, yesterday, I was having a conversation with someone who is also becoming it, exceptionally busy during this time. And we were discussing how we sort of have to pivot our typical immersive solutions to fit this particular, you know, era of time, given that it's difficult to go, you know, work with clients in person. Um, and the, the person I was meeting with, his main point was that he's seeing people are sort of trying to copy and paste real life solutions and insert them into the virtual realm which he doesn't think is very fitting. So I just wanted to ask you sort of, how are you guys pivoting your solutions to make more sense for, for the current times? Sure. Um, so I think one great benefit of Glimpse is that we do have 10 different, 10 different uh, subsidiary entities and each one was focused on a different type of uh, product or solution, um, but definitely our remote solutions right now um, are the ones that are getting the most traction. Um, and internally, we're, we're able to kind of move around resources to, to really leverage uh, the stuff that we were doing remote. Um, and we don't have to, we don't have to put the, uh, the, the square peg in the circle hole um, that we can uh, really just continue development on the stuff that inherently is actually works uh, based on the, the current uh, environment. Awesome. Cool, cool. And Edwin, what about you? Um, so, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was. I was wondering if you're sort of having to pivot your your typical types of solutions um, to better fit, you know, the COVID crisis and how you work with clients. Well, actually, for for me, I mean, the, the the main thing that I've been working on has been a virtual virtual conferencing solution that can be um, white labeled and 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 set up. Um, so it it made me have to launch faster, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, so I think that while we were in development, it, it kind of was a, uh, uh, an app that kind of wasn't ready to launch so 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 quickly. So we kind of soft launch early to get some um, feedback and. Um, it's been primarily positive. I think that um, ha you know having 
spent a year working on a virtual virtual reality and 360 video um, way of communicating um, back and forth was not time wasted in this in this crisis, and it's something that's really needed. And so um, it's 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 kind of jumpstart um, a lot of the goals that I had, um, and as well as um, made me think in different directions on how we could create you know other solutions that I was not even exploring before. Sure. Awesome. Yeah, for us, it's definitely interesting being that FXG, you know, focuses heavily on 360 video production. And, you know, of course, we're not going out of our way to jump on any airplanes and, you know, go take any footage at the moment. Um, so we're working on a lot of solutions right now that involve, you know, virtualizing conferences, using interesting, innovative methods. Um, we're doing a lot of art. We're making so much art, which is really exciting for us because we um, were an art company above all else. Um, art first, technology second, and we try to bridge that gap. So lots of virtual paintings and, and things of that nature. So it's been really nice to get, get to tap into our more creative sides and have that be received so well by our clients. Yeah, cool, yeah. Cool. I've been drawing a lot in tilt brush still. It's like one of my favorite pastimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, so just to, so the audience can see, I can show a little bit of uh, FSG work um, and uh, to give us a little break and, uh, and we'll be right back in one minute. I like how they beam themselves up at the end of that. Video. <laughs> I'm like, can I just, can I just beam me up right now? Uh, <laughs> that's pretty awesome work, um, Max. You guys, you know, are super creative and and are doing um, some very very um, cool stuff. Um, so here's another topic that, that I don't know if you are working on some stuff like this, but um, we were talking about this yesterday, and that's volumetric capture um technology and so i was just wondering this is weird okay cool <laughs> <laughs> i was just wondering, <laughs> wondering <laughs> what do you think about hey <laughs> it's a learning experience learning <laughs> um <laughs> Got to have the right aspect ratio for every photo now. Um, <laughs> we, 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 um, I was just wondering um, what, have, if, you know, DJ, have you played around with volumetric? I've, I've been, I'm trying to get um, Bill Platt, uh, shout out to him, on to for, of the um, volumetric meetup to, uh, to, to come around and talk some volumetrics or, or get someone with a volumetric studio like VRAR. 
Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm super excited about it. Um, I think that a lot, most of our work has actually kind of migrated to mobile solutions like the, the Quest. Um, and a lot of that content, it's pretty heavy. Um, so we haven't, we haven't really had enterprise, uh, solutions deployed on it quite yet, but it's definitely the wave of the future. Yeah. Um, and I've never, I've never a hundred percent been comfortable in, in 360 footage and a headset without that, you know, six degree of freedom, uh, you know, that little bit, uh, ability to move ahead. I'm a, I'm a huge VR person, but I actually, I'm like kind of hypersensitive, um, so I'm I'm one of the uh, the people in the company that they're like, all right, put DJ in it. It's, it's he's comfortable, <laughs> and we know that the, uh, the the majority of the folks that go into it are going to be okay. For me, that's my wife. I mean, she's the you know she's like motion sick. Nope, we got to edit this again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's I mean I, I mean, and I think that's really important um, because uh, you know even even if you're passionate about it, you have to make sure that the experience is something that everyone can enjoy. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty important. So, okay. So the, we're all close to our final few minutes. Um, and so I just wanted to, um, open it up, um, DJ again, if you, if there's anything else you want to talk about before we're, we're, we're done. It looks yeah, like just... we have a question. Oh, we do. Where's the oh, question? question. <laughs> oh, you want, where? Where's the question? Got okay, question you have from, a question from uh, Bobby. Got it. One of the biggest hubs for education, training, and adoption, in your opinion, how we move beyond this, what will cause the tipping point for faster adoption? So uh, th thank you, for Bobby, for the question. Um, you know, I think, I think one of the biggest, biggest hurdles up until very recently is the hardware. Right. Like we well, we tried and we were successful in a bunch of successful pilot projects with organizations. But, you know, we're putting PCs and, and vibes into conference rooms that that's only scalable to a point. Yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. the fact that the Quest is out there and now you have uh, HCC and you have Pico and you have other manufacturers coming out with with these uh, mobile solutions. You know, now all of a sudden our partners that were focused on one unit, uh, now we're at the stage that we're at 20, 30, you know, unit kind of deployment. Um, and that's really the really exciting for me to see. Uh, and I think that as the hardware gets more and more accessible, that's really going to drive uh, the adoption. All right. Yeah. Well, I'd like to speak to that quickly before we um, end up. <laughs> um, for us, like we, we've done some trainings in the past uh, at FXG, and I think one of the main things is getting people to understand that it can actually be more cost effective and efficient and, you know, save both financially and also in risk. Um, so we did a training for GE Healthcare and also for the China State Grid, where we actually uh, had employees be able to see themselves sort of fall and actually die, which was terrifying. <laughs> um, but, you know, the feedback was that people are really taking this in, right? They're not going to make that mistake now that they've seen it happen to themselves. And with GE, you know, we're seeing these really impressive um, stats coming back for their use case where, you know, they're able to save some money on the training side and boost efficiency. Um, the negative side is, of course, you know, accessibility and sort of um, educational um, inequalities when it comes to where is the money going. Unfortunately, the most uh, financial aid that goes out to things like this usually goes to schools that are in more privileged areas. And those are the kids who don't actually need the VR, head, you know, hardware as much. So we've got a long journey and I think we need to call on our local governments to expel more funds to make it happen. Yeah. And, and on, on that point, um, we had a, on, on, the, I think the second show, we had, a, a um, Miguel Sanchez from the Bronx, who's, who's, who's been working really hard on this he has an organization called Meta Bronx. Um, that is, you know, and, and, and I know of another, um, organization tech growth fund that is, 
actively um, trying to get these things into the kids of young people in uh, in, uh, in um, areas where I, I you know I don't want to call it underprivileged. I, I instead call it over ignored um, mm. areas. And so I think that there's a lot of positive things happening in that front. And I think you know we um, as a as a tech community have to be aware of it and also um, focus on on how we can uh, think about you know the young. Um, kid who's in having a, a real need for 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 being out in the outside world that that is either in 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 um the projects or in a cancer center and um with that that's uh, the end of our show for today i'm going to um leave us off with a glimpse of the glimpse group and uh hopefully we'll have dj and some <laughs> of his team members on his fit you got 50 team members man they just just put Oh, tell them <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> come check us out at, at our website <laughs> yes yes that's right um that is the glimpse group um dot dot com. Com, I believe. yeah right. and, and join the meetup too nyvr meetup and yes which we have to figure out how to virtualize after this call i'm gonna make it happen <laughs> we're gonna make it we will make it happen all right later right. guys all right the mass adoption of augmented and virtual reality will fundamentally change how humans live, work, learn, and interact with each other. This young industry needs different types of thought leaders to keep it moving forward in a positive and productive direction. With an innovative business model and an unrivaled VR and AR ecosystem, the Glimpse Group is a major influencer in this strong, exciting, emerging market. The Glimpse Group is a New York City-based virtual and augmented reality company comprised of 10 unique AR and VR subsidiaries. As leaders in the field, Glimpse subsidiaries create first-of-its-kind solutions for major brands and organizations in marketing, architecture, manufacturing, healthcare, education, and financial services. Our unique business model and our focus on emerging technologies enables our subsidiaries to push the boundaries of what's possible. The Glimpse Group is evolving the way business is conducted in this sector. If it's never been done before, the Glimpse Group can make it happen.